All right, Jason, thank you. Also here at 5, shifting gears, if you feel like the temperatures have really been up and down this month, well, you're right. In fact, it's been a 60-degree range. And Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith working for you, breaking down the numbers here at 5. Carly. Hey, at least this didn't all happen in one day, but we saw some high temperatures in the 90s and some low temperatures in the 30s this month. Notice the high was for two days early on October 1st and October 2nd, and then we saw lows in the 30s for two days so far, October 12th and October 18th. So when we take a look at temperatures throughout the entire month, that's coldest temperature so far has come on October 12th, 34 degrees. That's 11 degrees below the normal low and 8 degrees above the 19th. 1908 record. And then we saw the hottest start on record 94 degrees. That's 14 degrees above normal and one degree above that record set back in the 1800s. Notice we've got a lot of above normal high temperatures across the board for October. A couple of normal temperatures and then three days where we saw below normal high temperatures. So overall, it's been a hot October, but not hot enough to be on the warmest October. When we average the highs and the lows, it comes up to about 59 degrees so far. And with the temperatures we're expecting the next two days, I don't think we'll break into the top five warmest Octobers. However, big changes are on the way. We started October with above, well above normal temperatures, but look what happens as we head into November 1st. Temperatures drop into the 30s below freezing. We could see temperatures near below 32 degrees Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday mornings. So that may put an end to the growing season for us. Coming up, Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis will have a complete look at your forecast.